We'll start by making two copies of the background using Control J. I'll rename the bottom one Colors, and the upper one Textures. Now switch off the Textures layer and go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now we want it to be blurred enough so that the skin is very smooth, but not so blurred that we can't see anything. This is good. Okay. Now it's blurred, but we can still see the outline and colors. That's the low frequency layer. For the high frequency layer, we go to image, apply image, and then we change the layer to colors. Blending add, and we invert it, and okay. Now we change the mode from normal to linear light, and there's your high frequency layer. Now let's go into the colors layer because I see some discoloration. So how you solve this is using the lasso tool and adjust the feathering, which smooths the edges. Um, select the discoloration. And then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Adjust the radius until the skin looks smooth. And you just keep on going with this. And this is why frequency separation is such a great technique, because it allows you to work on color separate from the texture. Okay. Now here we have some bumps on the skin, and that's skin texture. So let's go into that layer, and then use the spot healing brush, and just paint over them. I'm going to speed up the video in this part. Now I'm going to play up the image a bit. Use Shift Control Alt E, and that flattens the previous layers into a new layer while also keeping them. Very helpful. Now Shift Control A, which brings up the camera raw, and the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to lower the clarity, which smooths out the image. And now to the sharpening detail, and I'm going to lower the noise on the luminance and the color. That looks good. And back. And I'm going to raise the shadow part a little bit just to make the dark parts look brighter. And a little bit of the exposure too. And I'm going to warm it up a little bit by raising the temperature. Okay. Now I'm going to sharpen the hair and eyes using the high pass filter. So I've grabbed the lasso tool and I'm going around the hair, which is very unruly in this picture. Just going around. And let me fix up that corner over there. Fix it up some more. Okay. Right, now, the eyes. And now just, I'm going to copy all the selections. All right, go to Filter, Other, High Pass. 
Now you want to adjust the radius so that it's gray, but with the edges of the things you want to sharpen showing, like this. And then change it the mode from normal to hard light. And adjust the opacity if it's too sharp for you. Okay. Before and after. It's a little bit too subtle. I'll just raise it up a bit. Okay, that looks better. So now I'm going to color the lips. So use Control Shift Alt E and either you can type Q or click on this button for a quick mask. And then go to brush and just paint over the lips. I use Q again to turn it to a selection. Inverse it and then duplicate it to another layer. Now select the color that you want the lips to be. This pink looks nice. Okay. And use either Alt Delate or Alt Backspace to fill it in. And change it mode from normal to soft light. Lower the opacity because it seems too harsh. Or the fill too. And here's the end result. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.